Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sidechain parameter modulation in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a synth that I want to sidechain using parameter modulation. And I do it very similar to using sidechain compression. We adjust the volume of the track you're sending to to create an effect. So here's the synth. And this track has a kick that I want to trigger the synth from. The kick part is playing from the sequencer here. And altogether, the track sounds like this. I'm going to first put a plugin on the synth track. I already have my instrument right here, my synth, but after it, I'm going to put a volume plugin. Let's type in volume, and we can use this plugin right over here Volume Pan Smoother version 5. And with this plugin, we can control the volume of our synth. So let's do it with parameter modulation. We'll select the volume as our last selected parameter, go to the menu here, and choose parameter modulation. And right here, we could choose how we want it to work. Using an audio control signal or sidechain, LFO, or link it from another parameter. We're going to choose this one, and we can choose what triggers it right over here. But right now, we could only choose the synth, which is on one and two, which will show up here. But that's not very useful to us. We want to sidechain it or have it triggered from the kick. So let's go to the kick track and go to the routing and drag and drop it. Onto this plugin. See how it changes to a patch cable? Just drop it and it creates a send to that effect, the volume plugin. We'll keep it post fader and notice it's sending from one and two on the kick track and it's going to three and four on the synth track. So now our synth track should have four channels. So we could switch it right here to three and four. And now our kick will be triggering the synth track. And we'll see it on the meter right here. Let's bring down the bass line so it'll start a bit lower. And now it's triggered from the kick. If we watch the volume parameter, it moves in time with the kick. And we can adjust how far it moves with strength. Right down here, if we lower it, the range will be reduced. And if we bring it up, the range of movement will be larger. Pretty good right there. Then we can adjust the attack and release. A short attack will trigger our synth very quickly. Or it can fade in with a slower attack. And the release adjusts how short the note is. So it could be very short or very long. But we should really adjust the sensitivity using the minimum volume and the maximum volume. We want to set it up so the graph over here moves as far as possible. 
starting from here all the way up. Giving it a bit more range. Now once this is set up, we could change the kick part to anything we want. Let's go back to the kick drum and readjust our sequencer. Or we could change it to a completely different part. Let's put it back to quarter notes and check out another way we could use it. We could switch the direction to negative. So instead of playing the synth on the kicks, it'll play in the spaces. So right now, it sounds like this. But we could switch it to negative and it'll play in those spaces. giving us that pumping effect we normally think of with sidechain compression. But it'll work with this just as well. Now we don't have to use this just for volume. We could use any parameter that we want. Let's switch it to an EQ or a filter. Go back to this track and we'll remove the volume plugin. So back to our normal synth. And instead, let's add an EQ or a filter. I'll use the Reaper one right here, re -EQ. I'll get rid of all the bands except for one. And let's switch it to a low pass filter. Bring up the bandwidth. So it sounds more filtery. We could adjust it right here with the frequency. Choose this as the last touched parameter. Go to parameter modulation and turn on audio control signal or sidechain. Set this up to three and four, which is still a kick. Readjust the baseline so it's in our range. Let's bring down the strength. Let's hear it. Readjust the attack or release. And we could also reverse it. So by doing it this way, we can control any parameters using a kick part that we want. We can even turn off the kick and still get that trigger. Let's go to our routing, turn off the master parent send, and we'll still hear the triggering without hearing the kick. <laughs> Or 
We'll put it back if we want to hear it. I think you get the idea. So that's sidechain parameter modulation in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.